little man. <laughs> you all right in there? A girl, obviously. Is it too early for kicking? Much. Does it even have legs yet? I wouldn't think so. Uh, so, uh, cards on the table. What would you rather have, a boy or a girl? I really don't mind. Oh, come on, blah, blah, blah. No one's ever prepared to say, are they, in case they get the other. I'd like a girl, and I'm not afraid to say it. I don't really like football, and I quite like shopping. Quite like a boy. Oh, well, uh, let's hope for an hermaphrodite, then. <laughs> Best of both worlds. <laughs> Ow. What's the matter? Nothing. You sure? It's normal. Okay. Thanks. Stop giving your mother grief. You're scaring the hell out of your daddy. <laughs> Oh, here's one. Escapologist. I could do that with my hands tied behind my back. I went Ashton under line and looking for a town crier. Any real jobs? No, not really. But I spoke to a bloke who knew a bloke the other day. Might be something going. Oh, doing what? Um, putting out cones on the motorway. You? Yeah, why not? You'd really do that? I feel like a drowning man who's been thrown a rubber ring. Well, I hope you're going to grab hold of it. I am. Oh, there's still a load of washing once doing. It's in the basket in our room. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you can brave it, see if there's anything on Chesney's floor. Remember to check all the pockets. Mm -hmm. Oh, and don't forget our appointment. I'll meet you there. Be careful, the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you rather keep it quiet, though, just to be on the safe side? Till the baby's born. Is this how the arrangement works? The mother calls all the shots. I'm afraid so. Oh, this caution. Who conjures up these rules? We should have a sign on the door whenever she's working saying we're not at home to Spiff's chances or Raffles a gentleman thief. Oh, why don't we just sack her? Oh, they, I've tried that. She's not having it. Look, my mum's in. Can we at least announce we're back together? Actually, uh, I need to get some Gabby scone. Can't we tell her later? Yeah, of course we can. I know what the problem is. You're scared of it. Oh, hey, flower girl. <laughs> Shan! What? What are you doing? Oh, this is ridiculous. Yes, I know. But what if my dad would have come out of the garage there? And then what? If you stopped your pocket money, I'd grind you for another month. I'd be still escorting me to and from work. Seriously, it's like I'm Hannah Montana. I live in some open prison or something. I know a way that we can see each other. What? Wait until we're dead and meet up in the afterlife? No. I passed the phone last night, asking if I were to join the choir. Well, I didn't phone me. Hello? We can both go. They rehearse like 12 nights a week. Oh, so now we're using church as a cover. It's inspired. I don't know. I'll think about it, right? But really, you've got to go. Before I get locked in the stocks or something. How unfair is that? I don't know. <laughs> of course, you know what will happen if I ask Becky to be my maid of honour. Well, fill me in. I don't. Well, Mary will disapprove. She's intimidating me. How do you do it, Mary? You're a visitor. <clears throat> Oh, I am Mary. Sorry, I've got, I've got to go to work. Oh, uh, favours, sugar diamonds or rum truffles, or, or favours of your own choosing. Ooh. You're dying to join him, are you? Could have a white too. Just for the conversation. You're yeah, right. You wouldn't be tempted. No, I would not. Why would you? No way. Do you mind? What? Why, well, it's almost sexual. I'm just breathing in the nicotine. Yeah, but it's the way you're viewing it. There's one thing I hate, it's women throwing themselves at me. He really shouldn't smoke, though, Lloyd. Yeah, it's not today, if you like. Not today, that's ridiculous. No, no, no. I read in a woman's magazine that every cigarette you have knocks a day off your life. All three of us would be dead. We'd be going backwards. We'd be minus 300. Turn off his smoking light. Uh, no 
don't want to throw her back the way. No offence, like. Can you pass that napkin, mate? I've got your wife's lipstick all over me shirt. Have you seen the change of the bus route, Roy? Yeah, so I understand. Yeah, the 158 is being discontinued altogether. Morning, gents. Oh, hi, Peter. Oh, morning, Peter. The change of the bus routes again. Can you believe? Do you know what, Dad? I can almost believe it. Yeah, well, ours doesn't stop at the library anymore, and I'm going to have to get off at the Undertaker's and walk down. Can, can I get you anything else? Yeah, I'll have a cup of tea as well. Um, and you wouldn't happen to have one of those jobs, would you? Oh. Sorry. I had to ask. Well, I'm afraid I gave all your shifts to Anna. I don't think I'd be justified in taking them back. And neither would I want you to. As much as I'd like to help. If I put a fiver on a dog at 23 to 1, how much could I stand to win? Well, you'd lose a fiver, wouldn't you? Oh, you think like a bookie, that's a start. We've got a computer, does the rest. Swings and roundabouts, isn't it? It's not an expression I've ever fully understood. We were together, then we weren't, now we are, if that's what you mean. Well, you must be delighted, Natasha. I'm quite thrilled. Why don't we meet the Rovers later for a celebration? If that's what you want. I'd better shoot back. Already? Oh, the Renshaw twins. Mm. Heard the diary was a mess. Bye, Gail. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the family. The last I heard, things were moving too fast, so you dumped her. Yeah, I made a mistake. Quite a U-turn. Still, if you're sure that's what you want... I am. And I'm happy for you. He sounded really excited on the phone. Well, let's hope something comes of it. I struggle to see him as a bucky, though. But I'll take anything, especially now. It just shows it never hurts to ask. If he hadn't been asking, then Peter wouldn't have known he was looking. Yep, serendipity. Sally Webster's word of the day. She's used it about 50 times already. <laughs> is, is, is that all? Yeah, I'm not hungry, Roy. Probably because of the two bags of sour cream pretzels that I demolished at five o'clock this morning. <laughs> and the angel delight. Purely a combination. Oh, that's nothing. What was I wanted on holiday? Butterscotch and sawdust, then haggis, covered in hundreds and thousands. Well, why would you have a taste for such an absurd concoction? I think about it now. Because I'm... Um... Because you're... Pregnant. Because I'm pregnant! May I ask your permission to come round the counter and congratulate you? Permission granted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's, uh, congratulations. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Uh, for that matter, from the top. I won't lie to you, Roy. Me and John were in a spot of bother. But I really think this will help. We are so excited. You will make wonderful parents. Can you imagine what he'll be like? Reading it poetry at three months old. <laughs> blanket ban on the telly. Well, he, he might start with the old possum book of Practical Cats, T.S. Eliot, with the illustrations, if possible, by Edward Gorey. Oh, right. In fact, it might make a suitable gift from Haley and myself when, when the baby arrives. I appreciate everything you've done for me, Roy. I really do. Oh, well, then. She's on the house. Three o'clock with Dr. Briley. Um, just hang on one moment. Um, Audrey, yeah. would it be okay if I nipped out at three o'clock just for 20 minutes? No, Natasha, it would not be okay. Look at us. Yeah, it's like the thriller video in here. Hey, you wouldn't have anything else to do, would you? I know, I know it's short notice, but it is urgent. Five o'clock with Dr. Carter. <laughs> No, that would be brilliant. I'll take it. And thank you for squeezing me in. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, you're finally off that phone. Oh, the red shows are here. Come on, pull your finger out, Natasha. Choir, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, you know, just five be something good to get involved in. Totally. Something to focus on. When did you hear about it? Um. well, there's been a, a sign up on the church notice board for ages, but the pastor ran me yesterday and said they were short. The pastor found you personally? You know what that is, don't you? That's serendipity. <laughs> anyway, um, I can start this afternoon. Well, I'll run it past your dad, see if he can drive you down there. I was actually going to see if I could get the bus, maybe. 
you know what? I trust you, Sophie. I really do. I trust you. Thank you. What time are you going? I'll walk you to the bus stop. Oh. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. I see you've worked things out. Yeah. I'll take your advice. Good. Sir, so, thank you. Anytime. I'll treat her better than I treated you. Well, I should hope so, too. Wouldn't be difficult? No, it wouldn't. You were no angel, Mike. All right, you don't need to go on. <laughs> don't think my mum likes her. Ah, well, what do mums know, eh? Exactly. I'm sure she'll learn to love her eventually. I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. What? This last few days? More than years ago? Both. I'll get over it. I'm sure you will. Uh, anyway, I only came in for a coffee. <laughs> See you around. Yeah. Your turn with the cake run, is it? Very laudable, if you don't mind me saying. One of the gang. Just a coffee, please, Roy. Of course. I've always liked the names of the courses, if that helps. Leopardstown, Punchestown, Wincanton. Uh, no, no, not really, no. Haydock, Newmarket, hey, Kempton Park. <laughs> What are we going to do? We're going to name all the courses. I've only been there once, though. It was um, part of a conference on community cohesion. Uh, Catterick. Hey, my uncle, though, he was the right thing for it. He saw Lester Piggott on Nijinsky when he was a cub reporter. Stood right by the winning post at Doncaster. It was, um, uh, uh, 1970, 71, something like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Hunters behind the counter, Peter. Have we not learnt our lesson? No, actually, I'm conducting an informal interview. Beg your pardon, we're not hiring. We might be. Could I have a word in private, please? I'll, I'll, I'll step outside. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Just, just hang on, just hold fire a minute, John. Even if we were hiring, the man is a convicted kidnapper. I'm an alcoholic. You're an ex-business girl, so what me? Forgive and forget. Alcoholism is a disease, Peter. Kidnapping is not. I, but I'd better, um... My hearing's too good. Me ego's too fragile. Sorry about the misunderstanding, John. What's the matter with you? Deirdre's a liability. We've got a decent bloke here who's got a brain in his head and a willingness to work. Uh, but maybe you might let me know when you decide. I've got, I've got somewhere I've got to be in any case. <sighs> Wish I'd been in the choir. Everybody said I had the best choir. Did the... Do you know what? The less you see of charm... The more mature you seem, I'm really proud of you, Sophie, the way you've responded to this discipline. I had a nightmare conversation with Amy last night, did I tell you? What, panel related? No, I went a mother related. She said, is that what flirting is, Daddy? Don't miss a trick, do they? Mm. Russ asked me this morning if I was gutted that his mum didn't love me. What did he say? I denied it. Still got my dignity. Even if I am lying to an eight-year-old. Gizzy go on now. Ah, no way. Go on, Gizzy, try. Look, I don't want your spittle on the filter. Well, then, I'll finish it then. Look, you don't even smoke. All right, fine, have it your way. Thank you. Oh. Hey, you, you could have burned my lip then. I thought you were off. I had to come in. Pauline's gone home with suspected shingles. Oh. Oh, it must have been her I spoke to earlier. She didn't sound like she had shingles. How can I help you? I made an appointment. It's Blakeman. Yes, I do know what your surname is. I wasn't sure if you did. It's uh, five o'clock, Dr Carter. He's new. Take a seat. Thank you. I, I think I might have tennis elbow. It's very common. Oh, hiya. Oh, oh, nothing too grisly, I hope. Oh, no, no, just me elbow. Everything OK, then? Yeah. We just booked in for our first scan. Oh, well done, you. Congratulations. Thanks. See you. Honestly, the mouth on her. And the poor bloke, he stood right in front of us. He looked like he was going to burst into tears. Yeah, and he never gave Roy any trouble. How dare she take the moral high ground? 
Who put us in this mess, eh? Was it me that handed over that four grand? Still, I'm glad you're not sacking Deirdre. Was it you who got caught smooching? You know, sometimes I feel I got a key in my back, and the minute I sit up each morning, it starts to wind me up. Oh, yeah, you and me both. But tell me this, where would they be without us, eh? Brace yourself, there's enough. Oh, good Lord, look at the face of her. You had a tip? Yes. Never let Peter Barlow through your door. Oh, I don't know. I think they made quite a nice job. Uh, if I ran out of pens, would I come in here and steal yours? No. Because it's so puerile anyway, they're far too small. Leave my pens out of it. It was theft, Peter. How can it have been theft? If anything, we left with less than we went in with. You stole two haircuts. That is haircut theft. Haircut theft? Uh, officer, and they both left looking very neat and very tidy. Look. Let that be an end to it, OK? Oh, yeah, right. Fifteen quid, four grand. Yeah, that sounds about fair. Lewis might have taken you to the cleaners because your staff had their head turned. But compared to what I've been through, you got off lucky. Yeah, well, no-one's contesting that, Audrey. Oh, yes, they are. I'm contesting it. He's robbed me blind. What did she get, eh? Oh, a couple of days of heartbreak. Peter! I owe you nothing. Now, it's an end to this right now, otherwise I am going to the police. And actually, do you know, you should listen to your father, poor sap that he is, because at least he's got a shred of class. I think you're in there. Grow up, Peter. Been ringing her for weeks, begging for her to join, because they needed a soloist. Mm. You're right. Yeah, yeah, what? Well. You smell like the ground floor of Kendall's? Well, I've just freshened up. Do you know, I have to say, Steve, after everything I've been through, I see people smoking as a personal insult. Ah, well, Steve, you don't smoke no more. We've both given up. Him? He was robbing them off Lloyd this afternoon. He was practically eating them. Tell me she's joking. Hence the vat of cheap cup. He was goading me. He wouldn't take no for an answer. We go to Panama on Monday. And you're scabbing ciggies off Lloyd after everything we've been through, you. you sick. Oh, Mary! <laughs> Hello, Hayley. Just realised I've forgotten to pick up some dishwasher tablets off my own. I didn't know you had a dishwasher. Well, you know, you've got plans. This won't take long, will it? I've just tried to court Roy's opinions on the favours, but I won't lie to you, Hayley. What I received in return can only be described as a mouthful. Mary, I'd really like to get inside and have some tea. He cares not for your wishes, and that hurts me on your behalf. You wouldn't mean to sound impatient. Have you thought any more about the Maid of Honour? No. Oh, perhaps we could talk about the various candidates. I really don't think this is working. I found your ideas very helpful, and, and sometimes I've even enjoyed it, but all in all, I'm not sure the services of a wedding planner are needed. Not for this particular wedding. I see. Perhaps we should call it a day. Well, I, I've also got some DVDs from, from the library. A, a runaway bride, four weddings and a funeral, and, and, and play Misty for me. I, I thought we could watch them purely for pleasure. No! I'd like us still to be friends. Whatever you wish. Thank you. If I could just pop past her. Yes. Bye, Mary. Bye. So, how are you today? Well, I've been better. Have a seat. Which one shall I sit on? Either. Take your pick. Thank you. <clears throat> so, what can we do for you this evening? The thing is, I recently had a termination. Okay. Any pain since? A tiny bit. And whereabouts exactly are you feeling it? Well, up here mainly. Uh, you see, what I'd like to ask you, Doctor, is how long will it be before I can get pregnant again? So I'd like to know when you got the notion.
I didn't want to be a single mother. I wanted Nick to love us both. I wanted a family, not just a baby. OK, sure. So, I had the abortion. But in the meantime, he found out I was pregnant, and it turns out he does love me after all. And he wants to give it a go, and he's suddenly excited about the prospect of a baby. So what could I say? So he doesn't know. Well, that's why I'm in such a rush to get pregnant again. But now you're saying it's a month before I'm ovulating. Oh, a month at least. You need to give your body time to recover. But there's still a chance it can work, isn't there? If I play fast and loose with the dates, I think everything's going to be OK, isn't it? Hi. <laughs> give her a chance, won't you? Of course I will. I just want you to like her. It matters to me. I do. And you'd definitely be joining us for a drink. Absolutely. <laughs> In fact, she'll be out in a minute. Who will? Natasha. She's in with Dr. Carter. About her elbow, she says. Which room? Well, that moment, you can't go in there. Hi. Nick. Nick Tilsley, a.k.a. Proud father-to-be. Is everything all right? Coronation Street continues in half an hour. <laughs>